Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video, very excited because it is the third video in the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Unlocked Palette videos. So they come out with several palettes every year for holiday 2024. This year they did come out with three. There's no, you can customize them, but there's no like fourth choice as far as a customization. But this is the middle one. And I think this is probably the most anticipated one because the medium one I think suits more skin tones and seems to always be the most popular. So this year it is the Evil Eye. I did already do videos on Dragon and Lotus Flower. Um, you can see them down below and I'll put them up here as well. So you can go and look at those videos if you haven't done so already. So this is Evil Eye. Uh, I will be trying everything on, all the shades going over. And this one will also have a lot more swatch comparisons because this is the one that I am most excited about. Um, last year I did keep Leopard. I did do a video for all three. I kept Leopard the year before. I did. I kept um, Elephant. So now Elephant has since been decluttered, but um, this is the one I think that is most popular and that I have the most comparisons for. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at the shades. So here they are. And uh, a little description about the palette. It says, a universal symbol of protection and intuition. This evil eye face palette includes five brand new shades of blush, bronzer, and highlighter to diffuse, enhance, and add glow to the complexion. So um, yes, and this is the one that I personally like the setup the most. You have one finishing um, powder, then you have one highlighter and one bronzer and three blush. So actually this is the highlighter up here. Um, that is, to me, this is the most, uh, the best format as far as the powders. However, I will say, I did kind of comment in the Dragon palette that I did not like that it had two finishing powders. And a lot of people, I would say probably, you know, maybe 40%, 50% commented that they, they, they like the two finishing powders. So, you know, this is my personal opinion. Uh, and I love that people are like, you know what? Hey, I like the two finishing powders. And my thought is, is that Hourglass knows that. So they've given, you know, different setups with each of the palettes. So great. Um, if you like the two finishing powders, then, you know, maybe Dragon is more suited to you. For people like me who like the one finishing powder, this one might be better suited for you. So we'll go over the shades um, really quick. So here again are the shades and I'm going to go through them from top row across. So the first one right here is the ambient lighting powder. This is the finishing powder. It is soft light and it is described as a pale peach. This is the only existing shade. This is also very great because this is a new, usually they put radiant light in here, so I do like that they put a different finishing powder in here. The second one is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder. This is a new shade. It is described as rose gold um, strobe light, and it's, just, it's a soft rose gold. Then we have a blush. This is an ambient, well, they're all ambient lighting blushes. So this is a new shade. It is pink fusion and it is described as a cool pink. This one right here is Oasis Glow. It is a shimmering warm apricot. This one is vibrant coral, a true coral. And then this is the bronze. This is the ambient lighting bronzer. It is natural bronze and it is described as a matte medium bronze. So all the colored shades are new. The only existing shade is the finishing powder. So I really love it. And I also like, and when you see in the swatches, you will see that the bronzer is much more neutral than last year's in Leopard. Last year's Leopard and a lot of them in all the palettes were very, very warm. So this one is, I think all the, the bronzers this year are much more neutral. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to do all the swatches at the end. So if you're interested in that, you can just kind of skip to the end if you don't want to watch the try on. Um, but I'm going to do those and, and I did uh, take those pictures in natural light. So to kind of get a better comparison. Also the pink and the coral. Now when I did the pictures, they're much more there's a difference and uh, once i did it in natural light i could see that there was much a better bigger difference than when i kind of just swatched it in in person and on the camera so it actually has a good difference but they are still very close so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put with three blushes i only have two cheeks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do those 
um, at the end. I'm gonna just put this uh, one side of this blush right here, um, the Oasis Glow, just to see how it looks on the cheek, and then I'm gonna take it off so I can do the other two, because I think the other two really wanna see how they look compared. Um, this one I know I'm gonna love, and I think a lot of people love it. This is probably gonna be my personal favorite, uh, but um, I did want to try all three on my cheek. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just put that blush on my cheek, and um, then I'm gonna take it off. So we'll go ahead and start with the Oasis Glow, and this is, it is a shimmering warm apricot, which sounds absolutely beautiful, and it is stunning. Um, yeah, this is, I just love this blush. I, I knew, I hadn't put it on my cheek, but I swatched it, and every time I swatched it, I thought it just looked beautiful. When you swatch it, it actually looks really, really light but when you put it on the cheek, it looks stunning. So absolutely beautiful. That is, um, again, the Oasis Glow and uh, the Warm Shimmering Apricot. Yeah, that's, I love it. Okay, so I've cleaned that side of my cheek, reapplied my makeup, so it should be a clean slate. So let's go ahead into the other two blushes. So we're gonna start with the pink one, and I have two brushes here that are both clean. So we're gonna start with the Pink Fusion, and the Pink Fusion is this one. And then the other one, just so you know, is the Vibrant Coral. So very, this one is, is definitely more pink. The other one is more, um, it's coral. Uh, and when you see the swatches, you will see that there is a difference, but um, it's just a, uh, you know, um, but I wanted, I'm when you see it in swatches, it's one thing, but how it looks on the cheek can be another. So it really, sometimes you just have to see how it looks on. So this is the Pink Fusion. Now this is, I feel like more of a cool tone. I have, for those who have asked, I have a neutral, warm leaning undertone. I can get away with wearing cool tone shades. I feel like I look better in warm tone, but um, I can pull off wearing cool tones. So uh, I know somebody asked me if there were any cool tones in the other palette, and I will, um, I'll show you in a second. I feel like the Dragon palette probably was leaning a little bit more warm. So this is the Pink Fusion, and we'll go ahead and grab the other brush really quick and go in, and um, I'm trying to make this video somewhat quick and concise. I tend to, if you are new to my channel, I can ramble. So I'm trying not to do this for this video um, and just get to the point here. So we'll try it. Now these are definitely brighter. Um, the Oasis Glow was more of a buildable blush. This one, not as dark as like the uh, Lotus Flower, but, and I am going a little heavier so that you can really see the two shades. Now the Coral, I will say is a little bit more, got a pack of a punch, so I feel like it's a little brighter, but, um, this is, let me put a little bit more of the pink just so that you can really see the difference. I kind of look like a clown. I'm aware of that, but I can tone it down after. Um, so here is the pink fusion and then here is the coral. And where I'm looking right now in my little monitor and my little baby Yoda mirror, I don't see much of a difference. I'm gonna go really quick and look at my vanity to see a realistic uh, perception on, of how it looks and if I see much of a difference in real life. Okay, so I did. I just took a peek at my vanity and I can see a difference. I can see a difference. It is subtle, it is subtle. But again, this one is more cool toned. This is, you know, the coral, um, I would say more neutral. So I would definitely pair this up with like a different eye look or a different, um, you know, eyeshadow or depending on what I'm wearing. Um, but is it a big difference? No, no, I, I don't think it's a huge difference. So maybe when I, sometimes when I see it on camera, I get even a different perception um, because the camera's gonna show different things. But I, I, I wish they were a little different. I do wish they were a little different. But they are more different than I first expect or first thought when I first swatched them when I first opened the palette. If that helps. So there's my two cents. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with the bronzer. This is my Sigma Tapered Contour Brush from Samantha Ravendahl, 
and it is a great brush for this because it is kind of narrow i talked about this in the other one um sometimes it's hard to get uh you know it's hard to get some of these brushes in the pan especially the finishing powder but it's you know it's it's possible you just have to have like you can't use one of those big brushy bushy uh, uh bronzer brushes which i usually don't use anyway so that's fine but this is the bronzer and now i will say i didn't think there was that big of a difference between this bronzer and the one in dragon um i felt like they were pretty similar in in shade and tone um so slight difference but not too much of a difference but this one's beautiful i do like this more than the one in leopard so that is the bronzer and i'm also going to do it on the eye because i wanted to um see how it looks and i did that with all the palettes where i put the bronzer on the eye as an eyeshadow so i'll do that now in a second but i do think the bronzer is very pretty it looks um, to be buildable and again I'm probably putting more than I normally would just so that you can see the color okay next up I'm just gonna go and put it on each eye as a transition shade and pretty much just an all-over shade I'm probably not gonna put maybe I'll put the uh, maybe I'll put the um, the highlighter on as well but I also think what would be nice is you could pair this with the oasis glow i think any of any of the blushes and i've done that in a pinch where any of the blushes will look good as an eyeshadow but i think the oasis glow personally i think will be one of the most prettiest eyeshadows on the eye so that is the bronzer and the bronzers are always good you know if you don't know i'm sure if you're watching this video you do but bronzers are always great on the eye they can give you a quick one and done look i learned that from one of the makeup artists when I used to do pageants and I have been doing it ever since. So that is the bronzer as an eyeshadow. Next up is gonna be the highlighter and I really love the highlighter this year because it's not another champagne. Every year it's like a version of champagne. This year it is a beautiful rose gold pinky shade. Reminds me a lot of the Pillow Talk highlighter from uh, Charlotte Tilbury and I am loving it so I think it is beautiful and I love and I will say for between leopard and this one there's a big difference um, there's a lot of difference between the two palettes and I'm very very happy about it so let's just put a little bit on so that's it as a highlighter let's just put a little bit on the lid as an eyeshadow so really pretty um, and I do think that what I like about the highlighter is that I do think it kind of goes with all three blushes. Um, so I think that's good too. So just a real quick eye look. We'll do the highlighter um, as an eyeshadow and then I'll put a little bit in the brow bone as well. But um, I think the highlighter is gorgeous. I, I'm really thrilled with the shade they went with this year. Okay, now we're gonna fuse everything together with the finishing powder. So I do have this, again, Sigma brush from Christian Dominique. Um, it's called the All Over Precision Brush. This is the one I use for these little pans because it's just, it's a powder brush, but it's small enough to get into the pan and not get the blush. So I do really like that. Um, I think these are still sold, I'm not sure, um, but I love, any of their collections that are like Samantha Ravindahl, Christian Dominique, I think those brushes are so unique because they they really are designed by, you know, people that couldn't find what they wanted, um, that are good at makeup and couldn't find what they wanted, and I always find their brushes to be good. So this is called Soft Light, and this is um, described as a soft peach. Now, you're not going to be really able to see it, but I do think it is, I love the finishing powders, and, and I have... Um, radiant light in a regular pan and i think that was the one that was in last year i don't remember but um it's just they fuse together and they just give it is a finishing powder it's not a setting powder it's a finishing powder that's just going to fuse your entire look together so that is the soft light which you're probably not even can't even tell but i think it's beautiful okay so now let's get into all the swatches all of these swatches are done in natural light 
um, and it was done toward the end of the day because I live in South Florida and it can get really bright here. So these are kind of done um, in the at late afternoon when it's still let natural light, but you can still see the color. Sometimes if it's too bright, um, I find that you really can't see the colors as great. So here we go. Um, so here are the swatches of just this palette. So you'll see there's the setting powder. You can't really see the setting powder too much. Um, we'll do some comparisons with the other palettes in a second and you will see the difference. But that's the setting powder. Obviously there you see the highlighter. It's got that beautiful rose gold. Then you've got the pink fusion, Oasis Glow, the, um, coral one i forgot vibrant coral and then the bronzer so that gives you now in this shade you kind of see the two blushes and they kind of look very similar so you some other swatches in a little bit where i put them side by side and you can see the difference next up you will see now we're going to compare to the other three palettes so we have the these are all the finishing powders so we have the two finishing powders in dragon um, and then you can see obviously they're very light on me then you have the one um, the third one is the one in this palette which is the soft light it's the one that's most suited to my skin tone and then the last one almost looks like a bronzer that is the finishing powder in lotus flower i actually tried it as a bronzer and actually worked pretty well um, but it is a finishing powder so those are the finishing powders in the three palettes Next, we have the comparison of all the blushes in the palette. So the first two are the two in Dragon. I really loved these um, blushes. I thought they were just a big contrast. You have a peachy one and a mauvey plum one. I thought they were gorgeous. If you're only gonna have two blushes, have two that are very different, and I think they did that really well. In this palette, you'll see the three blushes. Again, that's the Pink Fusion, Oasis Glow, and the Vibrant Coral in the middle. And on the last two are the um, two in Lotus Flower. You have a peachy one, and then the red one. The red one is stunning way too deep for me but it is absolutely gorgeous but i was very happy that they had like a nudie blush in all three palettes this year next up we have the three bronzers so the first bronzer is the one in dragon the one in the middle is this palette evil eye and then the last one is lotus flower and again i didn't see much of a huge difference between the one in dragon and this palette so just keep that in mind this one is a little deeper but that's it and then finally we have the uh, highlighters in all the palettes. So the first one is the one in Dragon. It is like a champagne, I think it was a pink champagne, um, very similar to what they've done in the past. The second one is the one in this palette. It's that rose gold, really, really pretty. Um, very happy. I think this is the first time I have, I remember that they've done a rose gold type um, highlighter in this palette. And then the last two are the two in Lotus Flower. Obviously they're very deep. And I didn't really like that they were two highlighters, but they're very, very different and they're beautiful as eyeshadows. So those are the um, highlighters in these palettes. So that is it for those swatches of the comparisons. Now, um, now we'll get into some swatches of comparison to other palettes. And then before we move on, we did the swatches, but I do want to show a side-by-side -side comparison just so you can see. So here is Dragon and Evil Eye, and there you have it. So you can see just kind of the side-by-side. -side. Whoops, can't get it up. This is the um, Dragon. So this is the lightest one with the two finishing powders, and this is Evil Eye. So that's the comparison between these two. And then next up, we have Lotus Flower. So you see Lotus Flower, obviously the deepest one, and you have um, Evil Eye on this side. And this is definitely a lot more deeper, I think, than Snake last year. I don't have Snake anymore, but it does seem to be a, a lot deeper. And then finally, I did want to compare it to Leopard because Leopard was the one that is a medium shade. I do have some swatches and that's going to come up in a, in a second. But here is a side-by-side -side comparison. I will say I'm very pleased that these are quite different. Um, the highlighter is different. The the finishing powder is different even the blushes are very different and even the bronzer is very different the bronzer in this one is much more warm and orangey this one is much more neutral so if you have leopard i'm going to show you and i'll show you in the swatches in a second there is a big enough difference where you will be you will benefit by having both of them you don't need both so if you have this one you don't need this one but if you have this one and you wanted this one, you're gonna get a difference. And um, I know that middle shade, the bottom looks similar and we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons now. Okay, so now we're gonna do some swatch comparisons and the first one we're gonna compare it to is Leopard from last year. So here are some swatches that I did in Natural Light and these are the finishing powders 
the highlighter and the bronzer. So the first shade is going to be the two um, finishing powders. The first one on the left is going to be the one from The one on the left is going to be the one from uh, Evil Eye, and then the second one is uh, Leopard. So you have the finishing powder. So obviously the one in uh, Evil Eye is a little bit lighter than the one from Leopard from last year, which is good. I think it's nice. It's a nice change. Um, then you have the two highlighters. So you can see that this year's is got that nice rose gold. If you have Leopard, you have that nice, I think, champagne one. And then you have the two bronzers in there. You can see that this year's in Evil Eye is more neutral and last year's was a lot more warm now we're gonna look at the blushes so the three blushes on the left hand side are the one in evil eye and the three on the right are the one in leopard so I did try and uh, just kind of put the shades that I think are the most comparable next to each other so they're not in order you will see in evil eye the first one is going to be that oasis glow um, none there's not a shade similar to that and um, then you have the pink fusion and the vibrant coral in this shot you can see how they are different um, there's definitely a pinky you know pink fusion is really pinky and cor vibrant coral is definitely coral on the cheek not as noticeable but there is there is definitely a difference um then you have the three from uh leopard so i did put mute exposure all the way um to the right hand side that doesn't really look like anything um else and then you have iridescent rose and ethereal flush and i thought last year those were very similar and those are somewhat similar than the ones in in the uh, evil eye but I think that the ones this year are a little bit more vibrant so there's definitely some differences in the blushes so again if you have leopard um, do you need this palette obviously not you don't need really need anything if you already have the leopard but I think there's enough of a difference and even with those two blushes being similar I think that there's definitely like once the last year's is more rose um, where this one is pink and coral so there is there's definitely a difference and just like I did with the other two palettes, I am going to compare it to some other face palettes that I have. So I have four that um, are, I'm going to compare to. So the first one is the Glowgasm Lightgasm from Charlotte Tilbury. So that's one of them. Um, this one I think is still available on Charlotte Tilbury. I think it was re-released. It's $75, so honestly, I would go for the Hourglass. Um, then you have the uh, beautifying face palette. This is the light to medium pillow talk one. This one is no longer available. Then you have the nude gasm. Again, this is uh, discontinued. It was a limited, limited release and it's no longer available. And then the other one is from NARS. This is the orgasm foreplay. This is just a highlighter and three blushes, but there are some definitely some similar, sh similar shades. This was also limited edition and this is still available and it's on sale for like 30 bucks. So, um, you know, you're not going to get a finishing powder. You're not going to get a bronzer, but I love this little palette, um, especially for travel. It's great. So, um, and only two of these have bronzer. So most of these are mostly, you know, highlighter blush palettes, but I did want to kind of say like, you know, if you have this, you may already have these shades, so you don't necessarily need this palette. Okay, so first up, we're going to compare the rose gold uh, highlighter that is in Evil Eye. Um, the I didn't compare it to this pa uh, palette because this one is champagne, so it's completely different. But um, so we'll take a look at these swatches. So the first one is going to be the one in Evil Eye. The second one is the one in the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. It is the pink highlighter. So that one is very, very close. So if you like the pink highlighter and you have that palette, then you're going to pretty much get the same highlighter. Then the other two are just a little bit different, but I did want to include them. These are the ones in Lightgasm. So the first one, or it's actually the third one on the arm, is the uh, kind of um, like peachy uh, highlighter in there. And then the last one is kind of, kind of like a purpley uh, pinky uh, highlighter. So they're different, but on the cheek, they might look the same but um, definitely the one from the, the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette, in, it's this one, is very, very similar. Okay, next up we're gonna compare just the shade Oasis Glow. So um, I actually just had two to compare it to. Uh, one in this dark one, which is very, very dark, so it's very different, 
but I did want to just compare something and then the nude gasm. So here is the picture. So on the picture, you'll see the first shade is the Oasis Glow from Evil Eye. The second shade is the one in nude gasm. It's the multi glow in the nude gasm palette. It's actually very close um, in shade. It's got a little bit more pigment and a lot more glow. So it's still very different, but wanted to compare it. And then the last one is the um, Orgasm Rush. And I, I did go light handed because that is a pretty dark blush, but um, you know, it's it's can give you a similar look, but again, still very, very different. So I think the Oasis Glow is a very unique blush, at least to anything that I have. Now we're gonna compare the other two blushes. And what I did is I compare, I did a swatch in the same um, palette. So two of the blushes will be from the NARS. It's going to be the Orgasm and Orgasm X. And then the other one will be from the Pillow Talk palette. This is the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette in the light to medium, and it's going to be this shade right here. So here are the swatches. So the first shade is the Pink Fusion um, from Evil Eye. Then the second shade is going to be the Original Orgasm from NARS. The second shade, or I'm sorry, the third shade is Orgasm X from the palette and also just from NARS. The fourth shade is from that uh, Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. It is the um, Super Blush in the palette. And then the last shade is going to be the Vibrant Coral from uh, the Evil Eye. So you can see there's some maybe similarities between these blushes, but I think there's also a big enough difference. But you know, again, if you have, like if you have this palette, then you probably can get the same look with those two blushes. So wrapping up, I think this is an absolutely stunning palette. I am very happy. This is, uh, of the three, this is definitely the one most suited for me and the one that I am most excited about and the one I'm definitely keeping. Um, I really like Dragon. So I really like Dragon. Obviously, Lotus Flower is not suited for me. I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning, but it's not suited for me. And you shouldn't, again, you shouldn't have to make things work. I will probably only keep one and it will probably be this one. My only disappointment is that I really like the Dragon packaging and I wish I had ordered this with the Dragon packaging. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. But anyway, this is the one I love. Um, maybe I'll order a second one. No, I shouldn't do that. But um, this is the one I love. I think it is gorgeous. Uh, again, if you have um, Leopard, I do think there's a big enough difference. And I actually like it better than Leopard for several reasons, mainly because the blushes are just more vibrant. Um, depends on your personal preference. I, I think this uh, peachy shade is gorgeous. Um, but I do think it's a little bit more vibrant and I do like it more. Um, Elephant was very popular. The Elephant palette is available right now through Barney's. So basically, if you didn't get Elephant, you can get it through Barney's. They repackaged it in a special one for Barney's. So um, I'll post a link uh, down below, an affiliate link that will be down below. So I do not have a promo code with Hourglass, but I am hearing that these promo codes, any promo codes are not working on these palettes. So just keep that in mind. But um, if, if you try one, you know, great. Uh, you know, you can definitely support another creator by using their uh, promo code. Unfortunately, I have not been able to be given one, but I still recommend it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't know if they'll be available. Sometimes they're available at other, you know, Ulta or Sephora. Right now, I don't see that. But of the three, this is definitely my favorite, but this is um, the, you know, the medium one most suited for me. And again, if you have leopard, I do think it's big enough of a difference. However, if you always wanted elephant, you don't think this one and you really wanted elephant, you can get it through Barney. So anyway, let me know in the comments below, which of the three is your favorite? Which of the three are you getting? Or are you just gonna completely pass this year? And then also let me know which of the three um, designs is your favorite. So we have, I'll show you the three designs here. So we have Dragon, Lotus Flower, and Evil Eye. Which one of yours is your favorite? I'm curious, whoops. <laughs> I'm curious to know which one is your favorite. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.